everybody and welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry I haven't done a video in probably two weeks. My work has just picked up and I'm so so busy and I just literally have not had time. But today is a very exciting day because we are going to our first show in four months. I'm so excited. We're going to combine training at Felbridge with Lisa and Fiona. Um, Lisa is also entered at Aston the Walls next weekend in the event so we thought today would be a good chance to get her fizz out. She can go and do a dressage test and have a jump round before it actually matters. Fiona has also only ever done a one dressage test so I'm not expecting her to come out and go like a Grand Prix horse. I'm expecting her to be quite lively and she'll probably do some moves, not in the right place, but it's all experience for her because obviously I'd like to event her in the future. So she's got to start somewhere and it's a lovely first outing for them both. So I really hope they behave. They're both just doing the 100 combined training just as it's a little practice and they don't need to jump big their first outing since before lockdown. So it'd be a really nice first outing for them so I'm just in the tack room about to sort out my tack and um, cleaning my tack putting it in the lorry but I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you what tack I use on the horses what bits I use uh, why I use them um, yeah so hopefully that's interesting for you okay so I've just cleaned my bridles so I'm just going to show you what bits I use on the horses and why um, my labels still say precious and so not Fiona just because I haven't changed them, I'm just too lazy to change them. Okay, so first the jumping bits. Um, Lisa jumps in a new short universal bit. Uh, she jumped in this when we bought her and we've just never felt a need to change it. She jumps nicely in that, so we've just left that there. Um, then when we got Fiona, um, I think they jumped her in an elevator bit before we bought her. Um, so I tried Lisa's universal on her and it just wasn't quite enough um, pull so I then tried her in a Tom Fum which was then a bit too harsh so we've just gone for a bog standard two ring which has just got a little bit more leverage than the universal as the shank's just a little bit longer and she seems to really like that okay then dressage Fiona just goes in a new shawl loose ring with a lozenge she seems to go quite happily in that so felt no need to change it um, then with Lisa in dressage we've tried so many different bits and she just is has always been really heavy on my hands and really leans so we finally found the bomber loose ring happy tongue which as you see it's got no join in it and just goes over their tongue and she loves it like she's so light in my hand and it's just like riding a different pony to just riding her in a normal snaffle. So that's what she likes at the moment. Okay, and also they both have grackles in both phases. Um, Lisa has to have a grackle because she crosses her jaw and just tanks off with me. And then Fiona, that was just the bridle we had from my old horse Precious. So she just used that and went quite nicely in it. So we felt no need to change it. Um, as you can see, Lisa's got a nice diamante brow band. Um, my mum won't let me have a diamante brow band on Fiona because she's already got diamantes on her ears. So we can't have two sets of diamantes because my mum is really against the diamantes. But as you can see on their jumping bridles, they have these lovely plaited um, brow bands, which look really nice, especially in the workers. That's what we like to use. And then they obviously both jump in a martingale. Um, Lisa has a breastplate just because her saddle goes backwards. Both jump in stud girths because they've got really neat knees. Okay, now to my saddles. So I don't have the money to go and buy myself a four grand Devaku or Butel, whatever. So I have nice ancient prestige event saddles. And honestly, they're the comfiest saddles. Um, on Lisa I use Springer stirrups, um, I struggle with my ankles, I've torn the ligaments in my ankle so the Springer stirrups really cushion my ankle and really help to make my ankles not hurt when I'm riding, especially cross country. Um, on Fiona I use Tech stirrups, um, I find because she's got quite narrow shoulders my legs go forward on her if I'm using the Springer stirrups so I just use the tech stirrups as the treads nice and wide and just keeps my foot a bit more stable and keeps my legs back 
Okay, that's our tack all packed. Bridles in there. Um, also for dressage, I use Black Country Show Saddle. Okay, so I'm just going out to get them in from the field and give them a bath. Um, I'm getting Lisa in first so Fiona can be up eating the nice long grass in the top field, get nice and fat and be nice and calm for a dressage. Um, yeah, so Lisa will come in first. She's been out for about an hour and a half. So she'll come in, have a bath, get all ready. Then I am going off to work and meeting my mum at the show um, because I've got a job right near Fellbridge so I thought it would make more sense to for me to go to the job meet my mum at Fellbridge. Where are you going? Lisa says she hasn't been out long enough. Lisa says she is not too happy about coming in this early. She'll be happy though when she gets there and gets to do some jumping. Come on. Oh, we've stopped now. So Lisa's all bathed and ready now. I'm just going to put a hood and a bodysuit and a tail bandage on her because I'm not going to plait them. Just I was just training, so don't really need to plait them. Um, so I'm just going to put a hood on them to flatten their manes down. And they had their tails pulled the other day, so they're still a bit sticky outy. So I'm going to put a tail bandage on while their tails are wet just to flatten them down. Lisa is very impatient. So Lisa's all ready now, I'm just going to go and get Fiona in, bath her, get her all ready and then I'll be heading off to work. So Fiona's all bathed now too, just going to put her hood and bodysuit on and tail bandage and then they're both all ready. Impatient as well. Okay, so the horses are both now done and ready to go. So because I'm going to work and meeting my mum at the show, I am going to put my britches and shirt and everything in the lorry so that I can go just change when I get there. Um, I've got a new hat for my birthday, which will look very smart. There's nothing wrong with my old hat. I just basically ended up using my show hat every day, so now it looks really scruffy. So I've got a new hat for my 21st birthday, which I'm really excited to use. Um, I've got to go clean my boots, basically put everything in the lorry so that when I meet my mum at the show and get all ready and then, yeah. Just checking my new hat still fits. I literally cannot believe the colour difference between this and my old hat. Like when I was just looking at my old hat all the time, I didn't even notice it. And the colour difference between the red and white stripes is like so different now. So we've just arrived at Fellbridge and I've got all ready. It feels like a very long time ago. I last got ready at a show. Luckily everything still fits. Um, I'm just about to go get on Fiona and do my dressage. I'm expecting to have a very excitable horse. So hopefully it's not too bad, but we will see. I'm not expecting too much, but it's just an outing for her. So we'll let you know how it goes. So here's Fiona looking all dressage ready. She might look the part, whether she behaves the part's another matter. <laughs> Hear that Fiona? <laughs>
dressage on Fiona and obviously she's not a Grand Prix horse yet but I was really pleased with how she went considering she's only ever done one dressage test which I think was only a walk and trot um, all she's ever done is jump we had to work in in a big open field which she's never done before and she went in she was a bit green but she did everything where I asked her she didn't do anything wrong she was no mis misbehaviour she like anticipated her canter a couple of times and I think she chucked her head up into canter once but apart from that I was really really pleased with her I'm just heading off to show jumping now the course is really nice up to height metre two doubles so let's hope show jumping is a bit better than our dressage <laughs> finish our show jumping I've just stopped to have a quick drink before we get ready for Lisa um Fiona show jumps incredible she was just amazing jumps beautiful clear round um had someone come up to me afterwards to say she wouldn't mind if that one ended up on her doorstep um but I was so pleased with the way she jumped she literally met everything perfectly the stridings were quite long for her so I know they're going to be long for Lisa because obviously Lisa's smaller than Fiona so um yeah so i just ride lisa nice and forward um you'll probably see in the video so going down i think it was four to five was a blue double to a spread that was quite long so fiona run on down there a bit so then jump after that she jumped really big and then run on a bit down to a like skinny but other than that she jumped really well and i was really pleased I've just seen my dressage score it was yeah it was disappointing but I just yeah she didn't get a very good score but it's not about what score you got I was really pleased with her so that's all you can ask for isn't it so Lisa's dressage ready she doesn't look very impressed about doing dressage Lisa 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 she's not happy doesn't like dressage could rather sleep. <laughs>
it. Just got back from Felbridge. I ended up show jumping Lisa early, so didn't get to tell you how her dressage went. And then we ended up just shooting off after show jumping because my mum needed to get home because she had a few friends coming over. So Lisa's dressage, she was really good. I was really pleased with her. Um, she was on a surface which she prefers. She doesn't really like trotting on hard grass so she was happy on the surface she went really nicely again her score wasn't what I would have hoped for they were quite harshly marked I thought um but I was really pleased with her and there was no bad behavior from either of them so I was really pleased she then went and jumped and stunning clear round ran the show jumps so again really pleased with her and neither of them misbehaved which I was expecting so it all went really well so all in all, a really good first show back and I had a really great time and it's really nice to be back out doing something. Obviously, dressage scores weren't the best, but I thought they went really well, so I was pleased. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already.